So if you didn't know already because you're slow and you just don't know anything, my man, oh shit, or Richard Duncan, or I just found out today that his name is actually Ricardo because his boo, his bae, this fine ass Nikki D, Nikki D. Because that woman is fine as hell, Lord. And y'all know I love me a red bone. She's mixed too. Ooh, but I'm going to get into that in a minute. Hmm. All I know is this. Richard and Nikki D got married. Yes. Oh shit is officially a married shit. No shit. Just oh shit. Yes. The tattoo artist from Black Ink Crew Season 5 has jumped the broom. I know, I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. Is she pregnant yet? Not yet. Because that's what everybody's asking, but not yet. But let me read to you some of the stuff that they had to say about each other on Instagram. Now, you know this is official. Nikki posted the selfie with the two of them, where she's holding a bouquet. I know some people call it a bouquet, but it's actually pronounced bouquet. Trust me, I'm a linguist. I'm really good at cunnilingus, so that makes me a really good linguist. So, yeah, so... Here's what she had to say about it. She said, I love you without knowing how or when or from where. I love you simply without problems or pride, end quote. And he posted this selfie of her where he said, I feel like the luckiest man in the world having a beautiful woman inside and out by my side. You are my best friend and I'm happy I get to have a partnership in love and in life with at the only Nikki D. Smile in the hearts emoji. Heart emoji, smile in the hearts emoji, heart emoji, smile in the hearts um, eyes uh, emoji, heart emoji, and then another face emoji and stuff. Yeah. But anyways, even Walt came by and said he was happy for him. But you know wherever oh shit is, the drama has to come. So you know that the happiness only lasted for so long, Jesus. I'm going to read to you some drama-filled commentary. Some back and forth with the extremely beautiful Nikki D. She is fine as hell. And some hater who hates her because she ain't her. Yes, some b some rat, some random ass thought in the comment section had the nerve to talk shit to this beautiful mixed woman. And you know I'm pissed. Oh, you know I'm pissed. I don't play when it comes to people trying to war with my red bones. I don't play that shit. But anyways, after Rich posted the selfie of them together, where she's holding the bouquet and he said the comment about being the luckiest man in the world Nikki D said truly amazing in all ways all ways I love you Ricardo that was a very nice thing for her to say very sweet lady obviously so some hater named Brit 0569 said dude you like a different girl every week lol sorry but real talk dot grpw well, I guess I meant to say grow up and instead of and grow up and stop looking for the next best thing so somebody named shock Ravelli tried to reprimand brit 0569 by saying this is the same one he been rocking with fuck are you even talking about grow up and stop leaving your unwanted ass opinions on other people's pages brit responded to them by saying lol girl bye he has six different women in five seasons you mad or nah ugly little girl laughing out loud shockavelli said you're mad because you wish i was ugly bye mayo at brit 0569 to which brit 0569 said at shockavelli bye dog shit laughing out loud mayo that's funny another racist black girl and you are actually ugly laughing out loud so somebody named melanin monroe i love that name the person melanin monroe said what girl have you been looking at? Because this is the same girl he been posting for a while. This is true. I know this for a fact. I made a video about them being together too in the past. Anyways, oh shit said to Brit0569, that's my wife, you dumbass girl. Get a life. To which Brit responded by saying, I wasn't talking about your wife. I am talking about the girl talking shit. But this is like your fifth quote unquote wife. And that's on top of the Donna situation, whatever groupies, not hating. But we'll see what happens, I guess. Best of luck with this one. Hopefully you stick with it this time. So somebody named Katie Liskav. Katie Liskav. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Anyways, they said she's gorgeous. And so are you at Shockervelli. Negativity is whack. But all the best to you at Old Shit and your wife. Shockervelli responded to them by saying, 
thank you so much beautiful and yes his wife is gorgeous oh yes she is nikki d is fine as hell anyway let me stop being thirsty oh shit gonna whoop my ass by the end of this video christ but anyways kate liz cav or whatever that person's name is said you are all so welcome have a fabulous rest of your day smile emoji at shockavelli to which shockavelli responded by saying same to you namaste at catless Kateless Cav or whatever. Anyways, and Kate. Anyway, the person said thank you back to. Them. Anyways, let me skip ahead. So the wizard, which is Walt, the manager for Black Ink, said, "Happy for you, bro." Then that fine Nikki D, his beautiful wife, said at Brit 0569, "Here comes the smackdown." Do we know you? Actually, does my husband know you? Yeah, you just tune into the show every Monday. Oh, does that mean you know my husband personally? didn't think so negativity is bad for your skin honey drink some water and sit your ass down please and thank you kissing emoji to which Britt responded by saying lol been watching since day one love when your life is in the public eye it's open to public opinion so you can take several seats alongside all hoes baby mamas girlfriends and groupies must have hot a tender spot I guess she meant to say must have hit a tender spot she really needs to proofread but I didn't call you ugly. I guess you mean to say I didn't call you ugly. So need to be. Uh, I guess you meant to say no need to be rude. So need to be rude. Oh, she's an ignorant motherfucker. You look stupid getting mad over someone speaking the truth. I tell you what, proofread next time, Heffa. That's the truth. Because you about gave me an aneurysm. I was being attacked by the spirits of stupid right now. Oh, God. No, Big Sean voice. Oh, God. But, anyways. So here's a little bit more of the conversation so Nikki D with her fine self said glad you watched the show we appreciate it no shade at all boo you should know we very much care about quote unquote your truth what will we do without your opinion on our marriage thank you for sharing your ignorant ass perspective stay blessed please Nikki D come on the show I love her fucking attitude I love this chick already she's a shiz naive anyways Brit0569 said at the only Nikki D LOL. Okay, you sound dumb. No shade. Uh, Brit, you need to proofread with your. It's hard to type with them heifer hooves, isn't it? Hitting all types of wrong buttons, Jesus. Anyways, at Nikki D, LOL. Okay, you sound dumb. No shade. Laughing out loud. Everyone sees him looking for the next best thing. Uh, he isn't going to find anything finer than that. But, anyways, I mean, the other girls are prettier than you. Oh, you're a damn motherfucking liar. The other girls are prettier than you, so hopefully you got some cash. Funny you were letting a girl from STL get under your skin. Aren't you on TV in New York? Why are you worried about my opinion? Just real shit, girl. Sorry, you are offended. Oh, I just realized something. Now, that was the end of the text, but let me say this. Now, Kathy, Kathy is cute as hell. So, you know, she she's fine, too. I, I like Kathy. Crazy Kathy. Remember I interviewed her on my radio show? If you don't know what I'm talking about, just ask for her in the comment section. Say, hey, where's the interview with Kathy link? And I'll hook you up in the comment section. But anyways, though, man, this is a crazy mess. You got heifers in the comment section uh, typing with their hooves, hitting the wrong buttons and stuff, squirting their milk on their phone and shit. They can't even see what they're typing, uh, trying to hate on beautiful women like Nikki D. Now, y'all know that I be thirsty in these videos. And I'm telling you, Miss Nikki D is going to receive all the thirst in the world now that, that's no offense to my man richard oh shit duncan because i'm not trying to have him uh, dunk my head in the toilet that's a big motherfucker you know oh shit's a tall sob he looks pretty strong and everything and i'm pretty weak and pretty little i'm three feet tall 555 pounds you know I, I don't need to get my ass whooped now but i'm just saying though his wife is fine as hell and her eyebrows are on fleek christ lord man this th listen no shade to the other ladies because uh, you know, oh shit, have smashed some some baddies. Don't get me wrong, he smashed some cute chicks, but this one right here, whoo, man, this one right here, you married the one, oh shit. Because when I saw her, I said, oh shit, I didn't even notice that he was in the picture, because I saw the picture, you know, up on Instagram and I clicked on it, and I didn't read any caption. I just saw two people, and that pretty girl caught my attention, so I clicked on the photo, and I was like, damn. She's fine as hell. She's like Zendaya fine, right? So I'm looking at her, I'm checking around. You know, she got the whole mixed girl magic thing and everything, you know, cute so, <laughs> you know. And then I read the, the caption or whatever. And somebody in the comment section said something, something, something about, oh, shit. And I was like, 
oh shit that is oh shit and, you know I didn't even notice him standing there. He, he's like a prop standing next to that fine woman you know like she's the showpiece and he's just kind of there no no offense no shade to oh shit is she so fine that you forget that he's in the picture I shit I forgot shit I forgot to breathe when I saw this woman she's so fine lord <laughs> took my breath away but anyways, I'm gonna go give me some privateine mist and shed my thirsty self. As a matter of fact, let me let me get some water. Oh shit, his wife is so fine. I'm either I'm, let me let me just take a sip. Let me let me just quench let me quench my thirst. Refreshing. Even though I choked it down and I accidentally poured at least two ounces of that 16 ounce bottle of water down my nose, but that's none of y'all's business that I almost drowned, but it's either drown or be thirsty, and I decided to put the water down the throat. This woman is fine. Could you blame me? Could you blame me? Man. Anyways, I, I was an old shit fan from the start because I thought his tattoos were popping. But now that he married this fine red bone, listen, I am a fan for life, Jesus. Shout out to old shit. You have great taste and great tasting women. Make sure you treat her right and eat the booty at night. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, make sure you keep her happy, Mr. Richard Duncan. Uh, don't dunk this up. You know, don't shit it up. You know, you know, you be doing some time. Don't fuck it up, please, please. Shoot, I, I do whatever it took to make that fine light skinned woman happy. Yes, I would. I don't give a damn who's mad at me saying it like that. Y'all know I got red bone fever. I don't give a fuck. But anyways, this is all my thirsty opinion. What do I know? And to that hater, Brit, whatever your name is, bitch, mind your business. Stay up out of your relationship talking shit. What's your relationship like? Huh? Huh? How good are you and your funky dildo doing at night, bitch? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Anyways, this is all my opinion. I'm an old shit fan. I'm now a Nikki D fan. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what she does. I don't give a fuck if she has talent or not. I'm a fan of all that fineness. Anyways, let me know what you think about all below. Are you happy for old shit? I know I'm happy as a shit right now. I see my man over there, that fine red bone on his arm. I'm like, Jesus, sweet Lord. You're doing it right. You know? <laughs> like I always say, <laughs> once you go mixed, the game must be fixed. If she's half white, the other girls can get out of my sight. Yes, Jesus, Lord. Yes, Jesus Christ. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Ooh, if she ran for president, I vote for her.